Hello, everybody. Welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is the daily read, okay, for Monday the 27th of May, 2019. And this is for all signs, for all signs. So it won't resonate with everybody. It resonates with those people it's meant to resonate for. So just take what resonates with you and leave the rest. So the card that's been revealed, look at this, liberation, freedom. Maybe freeing yourself from a situation. Maybe liberating that mind. Let me just get a... Okay. Okay, this is... Wow, this is... Free your spirit. Take control of your life now. Beautiful energies. Beautiful energies. You see how there's black and white and we've got this yin and yang here. It's about bringing your life back into balance as well. It's about reining in those forces, high emotions, maybe high um, mental blocks, mental anxieties, all of those kind of things that go on inside ourselves, especially when we're out of balance, to rein them in now and take control from within. This could also be taking control in an external situation, something that you're just not putting up with anymore, or you might be done with a situation and you need to cut ties in some way, shape or form, or readdress the balance in order to find that liberation. So beautiful energies. Cards, what do we have? This is for Monday the 27th. Monday the 27th of, okay. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Temperance, Finding Balance, the Four of Swords, the Hermit, what else do we have cards please, oh my goodness, look at this, the card of Liberation, the Fool. Okay, so look at this. We have the Nine of Cups, again, wish fulfillment, and the Lover's Energy. Okay, beautiful energy. Bottom of the card, <laughs> the New Beginning, Ace of Swords. I do love it when the cards just fit in with the theme, just beautifully. They always do. Okay. So we are talking about freedom, liberation. Okay. I'm going to go with these two cards. So we have the Hierophant and the Nine of Pentacles energy. The Hierophant is a sign of having faith, finding meaning to situations that may well have perplexed you for a while or may well have provided emotional imbalances or mental imbalances, whatever this is, this is where you're finding meaning again. It's also where, you know, there's a, there's a kind of like a link between the unseen and the seen with the Hierophant as well, because the Hierophant is the holy person in, in, on earth, so the person that's visible and represents that symbol of unseen, the universe, God, the divine. So it might well be that there is some truths coming to light, some learnings that you're beginning to see, things becoming clear to you that weren't clear to you before. The Nine of Pentacles, the, the, the one thing that the Nine of Pentacles represents, it's always a kind of solitary card. It's a card of independence. It's a card of the beginnings of... of making your hopes and dreams a reality, but almost kind of like doing it in your own way. This is a real sign of standing on your own two feet in your own right. It's your journey, nobody else's, whether you're in a situation with a couple or whether you're on your own, it, it, it's irrelevant because it still says it's your journey. So I think some of you, things are becoming clear. I think you're finding meaning. 
solutions are becoming clear to a situation or an issue because the, the pentacles is also about finding solidity the the hierophant as well is taurus a sign of stability stability solidity again so i think if you've had any issues or could have been internal uh, wrestling within you could be in your external world as well i kind of think this is where you're making maybe decisions or you're beginning to see what you need to do in order to bring about stability and change now um so yeah beautiful energy it's a card of independence as well so some of you may well be choosing to go your own way yeah because we have we have the the temperance energy and we have the fool card now this is a card of of sagittarius this is the fool um card of uranus now it's almost kind of like saying to you that when you find balance, when you reconcile differences either in your external world or within you and just begin to understand what you want in life, again, finding the perfect blend of ingredients for your life. And remember, we're all different. We all require different things in our life to make us happy, to make us fulfilled, to make us satisfied. So when we find that perfect blend of, 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 of life ingredients, so to speak, that really finds us fulfilling um, and find that balance within, the path is revealed before us. The true path is revealed uh, because we're in that position in order to make decisions, in order to see truths, in order to see that light at the end of the tunnel. And the fool energy is very much about... I kind of think, certainly next to the Hierophant as well, the way I'm I'm feeling is that some of you are wanting to carve out your own path. And it might well be, again, not necessarily a traditional route. It might well be, or there's a raging caution on. But I think this is something that you're going to do in your own right. There's a rebel energy to the fool. There's a leap of faith and it says, you know, it does talk about taking that leap of faith on yourself, on your beliefs, on your instincts, all of that kind of like thing. There's a release that comes from the balance. It allows a beautiful new beginning to happen. But, you know, there is a caution with the full card in the fact that it's, it's watching where you leap. So you see the temperance card. They the angel actually dips the toe into the water and this is erring caution so there's a cautionary note to this understanding truths understanding um facts of the situation maybe in order to move forward really find balance really find understanding before you move to that new beginning but you know this new beginning is that beautiful fresh new start card of optimism card of passion again carving out your own path is something that i'm feeling very much now it's a whole new major beginning this is a major arcana so a major fresh start a major new beginning the divine energy shines on the fool the fool has let go of things that may have held him back this is a tiny tiny baggage that he's carrying um and yeah you see after the temperance energy there's a point of where you're you're finding balance to not have anything hold you back it might well be that you're just you're just going against it's whether you're taking advice from somebody who is wise it could be a taurus or it might well be that you're i mean you could be taking a leap of faith on a taurus or a sagittarius to be fair or a gemini could be a new beginning on that front but i also think that this this taurus being a kind of a card of wisdom may well be giving you advice it also is a symbol of tradition and it might well be because it's uranus this this could be not necessarily doing the right the thing that other people are expecting you to do but doing something for yourself something that you believe in heart mind and soul and you kind of think that there's a blind belief with the full card you kind of think that there's going to be some of you want freedom some of you want freedom some of you want that liberation some of you want that fresh start i think you're ready there's a kind of weight that goes with the, the hierophant the traditionalism 
could be in relationships as well, to be fair. I mean, with this card of independence and the Hierophant can sometimes talk about marriage. There may well be some kind of like liberation. It might well be that you, or traditional roots, either in relationships or, or in the work situation. This is somebody who does something, an, an independent spirit, somebody who is doing things for themselves that they believe in, in their own right, and not necessarily doing what's expected. It's, it's almost kind of like doing what, what they feel they want to do. Yeah. So the Four of, of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is about bringing all your wishes, your dreams, your hopes, your visions to reality, making it real. Again, you've got two Nines. Two Nines. This is, this is the visions that you had. Again, your, maybe your hopes, your dreams. Now, the Four of Pentacles can be truths seeing truths where you want to go it's a pro it can be a card of processing and um, taking a bit of time out to see where you're going and um, making final decisions the, the the knight basically takes a little bit of time out but he's still dressed in battle armor so it's a moment for pause it's a moment for reflection which is why I'm saying just make sure that you have all the facts and everything that you move forward with caution in a situation Caution doesn't mean don't move forward, it just means move forward slowly. Don't move forward with blind belief, move forward with all the facts. And I kind of think this is what this is what that four of swords energy is. It is if you have opportunities to progress, if you have opportunities to move forward, either on the love front or the money front, could be in the business front even, then just take a moment to reflect that it's definitely something that you want to do. But, you know, this is... I mean, this is such a wonderful card. The Nine of Cups is wishes coming true, and it's by being switched on. It's by being switched on. It's by you making it happen. This is you creating your rainbow of blessings. This is you bringing about positive change. This is those ideas, those the promise of the full energy, really materialising to something that makes it happen. This is where things become real in your earthly life. So again, some of you may well be finding either happiness, it could be in terms of business progression, could be in terms of money, either inheriting money or progression in terms of the money front. So business progression, promotion, that type of thing, or business ventures paying off. This is something that's just going to make you feel really happy. This is also, it could well be linked to love. I mean, the nine of, of cups is making real love happen in your life. This is the nine before the ten of cups, which is perpetual happiness. So this is where you're getting to a stage maybe on the love front where, and you certainly have the lover's energy here. Again, could be with an earth sign. You've got two earth signs here. So could be with an earth sign um, or, Gem or Gemini. But this is, this is where your, your hopes, your dreams are actually becoming real on the love front. Uh, so beautiful energies. This is something that is just making your, your, your heart sing, something where you're just finding that sense of achievement. This person sits on their own and you have to remember that, that it's a personal achievement. It's not necessarily with somebody else, even though this can link to love. This is somebody who has found that self-love, that self-content, that self-satisfaction, that self-achievement from within. And that's the kind of thing, that's the liberation, knowing that you can, knowing that you can do it, know that you can make it happen. Because the lover's energy can be you coming back to you. The lover's energy can just feeling that sense of open-hearted doing things from the heart. Now, it can also be about making decisions in your life. It might well be some advice that people are giving you. You know, it might well be that you have to make decisions on your life in order to move forward. But this could also be equally. Whatever you're starting, this is moving towards some kind of, like soulmate perfect match relationship 
The lover's energy is so beautiful. It is brimming with love. I mean, these two cards, the nine of, of cups, this is it's everything that you could ask for in the love front. Because it's that perfect match. It's finding that perfect match, that perfect like-minded person, that person who, who compliments you completely. Yeah, beautiful energies, powerful energies actually. And I do think that you're, there's a, a feeling of breaking free with the, with the, with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, sorry, I'm just looking. So what's coming into to my head, actually, is I'm looking at the crown, you know, this triple crown, which symbolises the holiness. The high priest just has something very similar. Um, so this triple crown, which talks about real holiness, and almost kind of like they are the kind of like rulers of their domain, so to speak, or the kings or the masters of their domain, of their topic, of their area. And I kind of think this is you claiming your victory, claiming your crown. For yourself. Yeah, I do. This is a card of victory. It's a card of new beginnings. This again is divine energy. Just, you know, these, this would have been, you know, these mountains would have been hard to climb. These mountains, challenges, internal challenges as well as external challenges. But this is so coming through the other side to claim that victory, to claim what's yours, to, to overcome demons, challenges, difficulties and come through the other side with that real clarity that real truth and get what's truthfully yours rightfully yours so we can talk about positive communication bring in a victory bring in a positive new beginning so there could be some communication with regard to um love for example um you know that this could equally be i mean the fool is such a big energy this is just new beginnings that are literally you understand where you're going you understand what you want this is the sword you know it is a sword it's a battle it's been a battle so this is overcoming obstacles to be that victorious it's beautiful energy beautiful energy yeah and I think some of you are rebuilding. Yeah, this is a card of rebuilding something more solid, something more stable. Again, there's some kind of like... This is manifesting something new. This is... The threes are about the beginnings of manifesting something new in your real life. And the nines are very much about making it happen and seeing it happen. Um, so beautiful energies, beautiful energies. And as I say, yeah, it would have been a challenge to get through this, a real challenge. But I think where there's been endings, because judgment is the card of Pluto, where there's been endings and there's finalities to certain situations, that allows you to herald in new areas, new communication, new love, new opportunities in business. And I just think... That Ace of Swords is cutting almost kind of like the, chain, the chains of, of people saying that you can't. It is almost like, yes, you can. Yes, you can. The sky's the limit. When you understand your own power, this is around aligning to your true self. This is an awakening card. This is also a card of death, destruction, rebirth, transformation through that process. So you would have been through a pretty deep time you know, to go through this judgment card. But my goodness, it's karma on your side now. That's beautiful energies. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. And, and I will say there's a liberation in that too. There's a real liberation because this is, this is death to the old and the new being, being raised. You know, this is the resurrection of the soul. So it is being raised, second chance, second chance around, or a chance, uh, a fresh new start, literally, you know, from the ashes of, of, of what's gone. 
um, so beautiful energies. And I think there's a freedom in that. There's a freedom in that. And a release of, of boundaries and restrictions, maybe of the traditional as well. Um, so, yeah, there's a chance to liberate yourself from a situation. And I think you know what to do. This is, this is clarity. This is truth. You know what to do in order to bring that fresh start. You have that inner voice and, and, you know, Gemini is all about that inner communication. Swords can be about communications, whether it's in your external world or, or your internal world. Um, this can be about messages and it's sending messages of truth. So I think some of you know what you need to do in order to bring about positive change, positive new beginnings now. Beautiful reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.